Here's a um, real brief video introducing the three kinds of drive trains you might want to put on your robot. Drive train is essentially just those parts needed to move your robot around. The easiest probably to make is going to be a two-wheel drive chassis. It's going to have two wheels that are driven, two wheels that are not driven. Pros, it's going to be really simple to build and program. Bad things, it's going to be difficult to probably drive and not have too much traction. The next step up, and very common, is going to be the four-wheel drive. It's going to have a motor on each wheel. Pros, you're going to have more power than two-wheel drive. You're going to have the ability to still move if you've got a bad motor. It might be difficult to steer with such a long wheelbase. The next is tank drive. Honestly, I've seen more teams use these parts for conveyor belts than for their drivetrain. Probably because the tracks could come off and then you'd have a very difficult time moving. One I'd like to emphasize is the West Coast Drive. This is a six wheel or sometimes eight wheel uh, drivetrain. The center wheel is driven by a motor and the others are chained together. Also, the center wheel is dropped down so that it doesn't use all six wheels, but instead only four, having a very short turning radius, but a long, stable base. It may be more work to build, but I really like that all-wheel drive, but still having that easy programming. There are so many different variations out there. You may choose to gear your wheels down or gear them up depending on what the challenge is. Feel free to explore and experiment. One of the teams uh, from Gweethlick last year used a combination of uh, tank treads, omni wheels, and regular wheels. I'm not saying that's what you should be doing, uh, but you need to Evaluate what your goals are and build a drivetrain for those goals. Challenge, research all the other kinds of drivetrains that are out there. 